industry since 1988. Weather Duence Casey Albritton joins us live in Decatur. She spoke with the manager of a hotel about how she is navigating the situation. Casey. Yeah, the manager of Comfort Inn right behind me says she's had to lay off or temporarily lay off kitchen workers and also her cleanup crews are only working some days of the week and that's because their reservations are so scarce right now. We normally would be, you know, almost at occupancy, if not over. And um, we're down to like hardly any rooms. Like we're lucky to see 10 people come through the hotel. Ashley Rame works at Comfort Inn Decatur Priceville. She says the hotel is taking a huge hit from the coronavirus. Definitely never expected anything like this to happen. This is just crazy. She says the hotel has had to temporarily lay off kitchen staff. We no longer have the full breakfast like we used to. It's all prepackaged. And um, that way, you know, there's not a whole bunch of touching. And cleaning crews are barely working anymore. You know, they're all here. They're, none of them were let go, but I mean, with only five or ten rooms to clean a day, that's not very long. Hotels aren't the only places being impacted, though. Our lodge is um, running a very low occupancy rate right now. On the weekends, we may be around 10 to 15 percent, but during the week, we're 5 percent or lower. Chad Davis works with the Alabama State Parks. He says Joe Wheeler State Park lodging and restaurants are seeing some changes, too. We wouldn't get any takeout orders, you know, curbside service. So we had to reduce some employees in that area of a restaurant. Rames says she hopes things will get better, but the hotel industry will never be the same. The older people and stuff like that, I don't really think that they're going to get out as much as they used to. Rame tells me the hotel is taking all cleaning precautions recommended by the CDC so that when travel does pick up, her customers will be safe. Reporting live in Decatur, Casey Albert and Way 31 News.